over time, humans have gravitated more and more indoors. And this is, this is, uh, this is a fact that can be easily proven <laughs> by taking a look at the world around us um, in, in, in any traditional setting. This is a non-traditional setting for modern society today. And thankfully, with being able to offer a non-traditional environment, it can sometimes tap into that locked piece of our humanity that, that may become bruised and battered, and we wanted to lock it up and tuck it away when we become hurt or we, we experience a severe illness, you know, a, a life-changing injury. Um, oftentimes, a piece of us is, is bottled up and hardened and it's difficult to let go. And by offering the outdoors and an adventure into the woods, into the rocks, into the rivers, and over the mountains in two wheels or four wheels or three, um, by offering these adventures and this non-conforming um, healing opportunity, we believe we can tap into a certain demographic of the veteran population. Uh, that, that really just may need it. They, they just may need an alternative. There are some people here that you can't see what's going on inside. And having this small knit group has been less intimidating for them to come out and just be like, okay, well, here's my story. Let's throw a little bit out there and see what That's people awesome. think about it. And as they see that we all accept it, you know, they're, they're more keen to just go ahead and give the rest of their story and they feel messed with us. As far as like what this camp is, it's a camp of uh, like-minded individuals is what it turned out to be. We all come together and we you know, can join as a family and get together and, and overcome every obstacle. Like, you know, people that are out of shape climb the rocks, you know, that's hard, but we can overcome that. It's all mind over matter. I myself am, uh... I'm like a hermit crab uh, a lot. Uh, some days I have good days where I, I want to go out and everything's fine with the world. And some days I don't want to see or talk to anybody. And uh, but this does kind of force you to get out of that comfort zone. And we joke and say it's it, it's, it's kind of like the real world and road rules, you know, on MTV, minus all the debauchery and partying and stuff. I think with all the adaptive sports experiences for wounded warriors, the first thing we want to do is is reinvigorate that camaraderie, that sense of being with your service brothers and sisters and um, just kind of finding that sister and brotherhood again. But with this particular thing, it's pushing your adventure envelope a little bit. So um, you're, you're pushing yourself in a way that maybe gets you a little more uncomfortable than you normally would, which also increases your bonding. And then beyond that, really it is just that sense of peace that you might not get in your city, you might not get in your environment at home. A sense of calm. Coming out here has been quite literally a breath of fresh air. I mean, couldn't get any air fresher than this out here. Uh, but just being out here, you're able to just come out on the porch and just, you know, you relax. Every little color in nature is out here. Every you know, bright tree, every piece of green grass, every piece of brown wood, every little color of water. Everything up here is just so picture perfect and breathtaking. Every sunset and sunrise, you can't you can't get over it. And being out here and seeing all this, it's just like everywhere you turn when you walk out the door, it's like wow, like this is the earth, this is what God created, and I'm actually experiencing it. <laughs>